back to my channel. It is your girl Caroline back again for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about uh, this hair over here. This hair is from IC Hair Beauty and it is their Mongolian Kinky Curly. And I have in three bundles of 20 inches with a, I think, a 20 or 18 inch frontal. All the specific details will be down in the description box. Whenever I say something on my video and it's not like what I have in the description box, believe the description box over what I'm saying in the video because sometimes I'll say things off my head and I'll actually go back and do my research and realize why I said it was not right. So the description box is always correct. Anywho, let's get into this hair. Starting off with the packaging, I don't talk about packaging about all companies. Some packaging is just like regular, regular, but I see hair. They have like the cutest packaging ever. First, your hair comes in this bag. It doesn't come in like a normal kind of um, box, which I kind of prefer. I feel like the box is bulky and this is like just better because it's a satin bag and it like preserve your hair. And it's just like it's so cute. I think they're trying to like rebrand themselves to I see princess and I'm here for it. And also comes with this super, super cute ass lashes like oh, i love the aesthetic i love a good packaging so packaging 10 out of 10 um hair itself it is very very thick i've had this hair before and when i did install it before i had four bundles of the mongolian kinky and it was too big so i'm telling you four bundles unless you're gonna do like long lengths but even still i recommend three bundles or less like nothing more four is being excessive see how big it is so it's super thick and it's a super full hair so you know yeah as far as the frontal itself, the frontal, it came light brown. It's not like anything special. It's not transparent. Nothing fancy. It's your normal frontal. It does come um, pre-plucked, but not like, you know, the pre-pluck where you don't have to do work. You still do have to do work. And I did bleach my knots. I did not tint my lace or anything. I don't tint my lace. I feel like I got a lot of questions on that, but I do not tint my laces. I just put um, powder onto my lace. Onto the quality of the hair. The hair does shed. That is something I will mention. Like I did experience some shedding with this hair. I haven't even worn it that long. And when I was washing it from like, just to, you know, like from bleaching the knots and just washing the hair in general, even without installing it, I was getting shedding. So I guess shedding, I'll give it like a 10, meaning it doesn't shed at all. One meaning it sheds like a, like a dog. Um, like a 7 out of 10, a 7 out of 10. Like it's like, okay, a 6.5 to a 7. I can't really decide, but a 6.5 to a 7 out of 10 when it comes to shedding. Tangling, um, it is really kinky curly hair, so it does tangle. So I'm not going to say it doesn't tangle, but it's not like annoying tangling. Like I've had curly hair that tangles in an annoying way. So it doesn't tangle really that bad, honestly, besides your typical t curly hair tangling. So tangling, 1 out of 10, a 10 being... It doesn't tangle at all and one being like it's just doing the thing um i would give it an eight out of ten for tangling as far as the longevity in the hair and how long i feel like this hair can last i feel like if you maintain it properly because when i had my other mongolian curly before i got this one it lasted me like a year and a half and i feel like besides the shedding you know i feel like seven months to a year like this can last you it can last you no sheds and tangles but I do have to say this hair gets super big. Like, do not get me wrong. I'm sure if I go out, I haven't left the house yet. If I go out and run some errands, I'm going to come back with the hair out to here. Like, I feel like they've probably, I don't know if they changed their hair. Because the other Mongolian curly that I had experienced before, the curl pattern was a little bit different. This is, like, this is still really cute. The curls are popping. Still juicy. But the other Mongolian curly, what I really loved about it was just, like, the way the curls clump together and make these ringlets. It doesn't, like, it clumps together, of course, but, like, the ringlets are just, just don't stay together that well, which I don't, I kind of find annoying. So, yeah, it's one thing. It does get poofy. The ringlets will undo themselves, but a tip for that is get yourself a really good anti-frizz curly serum or use, like, you know, just, like, curly products you'd use for your curly hair to prevent, like, to keep the hair together. Keeping this hair moisturized will really do help avoid the frizziness. So yeah, I didn't use any conditioner when I did the tangling process, but I'm sure if I put some conditioner and use some anti-frizz serum, that it would definitely be would get less bigger and the curls would stay together more. As with that said, that brings me to the maintenance. This is a high maintenance hair. Like you can not like go to sleep and wake up and thinking you just pop off with this because girl, you won't look as cute. I'm telling you. 
this hair is going to require you to maintain it like every day kind of thing you want to wear it and go out you don't have to wet it you don't have to tangle it so if you're not someone who's trying to do high maintenance on hair i don't think it's the hair you want to go for but if you know if you're a hair connoisseur and you like playing with hair then yeah girl this is for you like i don't mind high maintenance hair because I love hair, I love playing with hair, but if you're someone who's trying to like, you know, college and your school or work and you wanna have a way to pop on every day and just go, this is not the wig for you. Uh, let me see, anything else? The color, it does come pretty black. Like it came as natural 1B and it's very dark for the color as you can see. Like it's pretty good. Sometimes I do have to dye my hair black. I like darker hair. I don't like the weird, weird brown color that hair comes in sometimes, but they came in a pretty good dark color. So if you wanted to recreate this look and get three bundles, 20 inches, plus an 18 inch 13 by four frontal, it would cost you $178, which I feel like is very affordable compared to how much other companies will cost. As long as you can keep it for 20 inches and above and everything, if you keep it under $200, I feel like that's super affordable. It's not like cheap, 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 because I know I, somewhere I can get four bundles for the same price, but it's not super crazy expensive. She's affordable, she's not cheap, but she's affordable. So yeah, overall, I feel like this hair is an eight out of 10. The shedding does bring it down because at first it could be a nine out of 10 if it didn't shed so much, but okay, not at, at first this could be an eight out of, a nine out of 10, but because the shedding is a little bit disrespectful, I'm giving it an eight out of 10, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching. That is all I have for you guys. See you guys in a, another one. Peace out, Girl Scouts, and see you next time. Goodbye.